Hey, it's Brad here, uh, taking a look today at the multiplayer in Fear 2, Project Origin, sequel, of course, to the original Fear. Uh, the game's out next week, and Warner Brothers set up a little multiplayer match for us yesterday so that we could uh, check out what the online action is like, uh, you know, with some actual human players in there, so uh, that's exactly what we did. Uh, the game has several modes. Uh, we only got to take a look at two of them due to time constraints, but... Uh, it seemed like uh, two of the better ones. Um, there was uh, Control, which is just a, kind of a standard battlefield sort of conquest mode. Three control points. Uh, you just run up to them, hang out, capture the points as usual. Uh, it's all on foot action in that one. And then uh, there's also Armored Front, which is pretty much the same thing, uh, except five points and two giant robots. Uh, each team has one uh, big robot that anybody can jump in and pilot. Um, that's a lot of fun, and you'll get to see that in a minute. Uh, this is uh, some standard footage of the uh, control mode here with three points. Uh, some standard stuff, as you can see. Sort of hang out, defend your point. Uh, eventually, it'll roll over to your team, and uh, you'll earn some points. Uh, there is uh, some of that giant robot action that I was describing. Um, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot that... Uh, guys on foot can do against the robots. Uh, there, there is a missile launcher that I found and tried unsuccessfully to use. Uh, I guess there are some laser weapons and stuff too that you can, you can level against the big robot guys, but uh, for the most part when you're on foot you're kind of uh, easy pickings for guys in robots. Um, this is, uh, that was an example of the napalm cannon there, and this is an example of being in the robot. Uh, as you can see the guys on the ground pretty much disintegrate into the clouds of blood uh, underneath the dual Gatling guns mounted on the arms. Um, you've also got these uh, tasty little kind of drunken cluster missiles like anime style uh, that you can bust out every few seconds. Uh, the robots are nowhere near indestructible. You definitely take some damage uh, mainly from the other robot. Um, you can actually retreat and if you uh, hold still like I'm doing here, you actually get your health back or your energy at the bottom as you can see the robot will repair itself. Uh, but the respawn time is actually also pretty short on the robot so uh, it's just as valid to just uh, kind of bail out, let the robot blow up, wait for it to respawn back at the like kind of your team's end of the map and then go jump back in it and kill a new. I guess done exactly that, as you can see there. Uh, there's a pretty standard loadout kind of menu thing, sort of like what's going on in Call of Duty 4, except uh, unlike over there where you're unlocking stuff in different categories, here you have like a, a common tally of points. Uh, and everything you equip takes some number of points, so you know, you can put on the four point medium armor or you can go to the, the beefy eight point kind of heavy armor but then that's fewer points you can sink into weapons so you can see how that would kind of balance itself out. Uh, plenty of you know shotguns, pistols, sub and full machine guns, sniper rifle. The, the weapons pretty much seemed uh, standard. You got, the, got your dot sight going on. Um, for the most part they behave like kind of standard first person shooter multiplayer weapons do. Uh, like I said, there is that, that uh, the, the napalm launcher, which is uh, kind of like a flamethrower, but sort of shoots flame and more of a jet, uh, and then sets dudes on fire, which is always fun. The, uh, the controls are pretty standard. Also, uh, if you play all the stuff like you know Halo, Call of Duty 4, you should be pretty... Uh, pretty used to most of the controls here, you know, the sprint is where you would expect it to be, the reload, the melee, it's uh, all fairly easy to figure out. Um, most of the kind of unique fear specific sort of embellished animations and such, you know, the melee uh, in the air, like the jump kicks and all the, the crazy animations that go on in the single player, uh, those don't really seem to be in effect too much in the multiplayer that I saw. Uh, you do have uh, the one the one move, the uh, sort of baseball slide that you can do by basically just sprinting and then uh, kind of hitting melee and you'll just sort of uh, slide into a crouch. Uh, but there's no cover mechanic, so like that, that's, it's not really necessary for snapping onto a, a cover point or anything. It just kind of gets you into a crouching position a little faster. Um, here's an example of the napalm launcher. Uh, seemed pretty effective. Uh, 
you can see that it uh, kind of looks like, well, it doesn't really set the robot on fire too much. I don't think it will damage the robot very much. I never managed to get the, uh, the missile launcher to connect with the robot either, so I really can't say how easy it is to actually take one of those stupid things down uh, when you're on foot. But definitely, uh, definitely fun to get some uh, robot on robot action on when you uh, are lucky enough to pilot one of those things. There is the missile launcher right there. Still effective against uh, infantry, of course. Game supports 16 players, eight on eight. Uh, the maps felt like a pretty good size with that number. Uh, there was the slide that I was talking about. Uh, there's a little bit more robot on robot action. Uh, Drunken missiles always do a great job. So I think that's, uh, that's about gonna do it for our look at the Fear 2 multiplayer modes. Uh, we have the full game in the office here. Uh, we're cranking away on the single player, see how that turned out, and uh, we will have a full review for you next week.